Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to Civil Engineers YouTube channel. As you know guys, in building construction we have main two parts. The first one is substructure which is also called foundation and the second one is superstructure. Substructure is construct below the ground level and superstructure is construct above the ground level and everybody want to make a foundation strong because superstructure is depend on the foundation which is called substructure of building so therefore guys we have different types of foundation and building uh, and main parts and foundation there is a, a shallow foundation the second one is a deep foundation and also shallow foundation we have uh, further uh, more uh, types and also in deep foundation we have also more uh, types so now come to the topic which we have uh, today when made foundation required guys made foundation is also a part of a type of foundation especially this is in uh, shallow foundation we have two types of foundation shallow foundation and deep foundation so made foundation is in the type of shallow foundation and made foundation is also called raft foundation Mat foundation and raft foundation is the same thing, right? Now, guys, as I've already discussed, we have two parts uh, of building, okay? One is below the ground level, so this is GL, ground level, okay? So, guys, this is called this. Okay, so this is called okay so this is called below the ground level this is called substructure okay and above the ground level you can see right this is guys this is called superstructure okay below the ground level substructure above the ground level this is called superstructure now guys as i've already discussed we have to define today made foundation so when made foundation required for building if you want to construct your building and you need to design to construct made foundation so where you can provide made foundation in which case we should provide made foundation and what is the purpose of made foundation this is the topic for today so let's start guys as you know guys we have different footings in foundation So this is called individual footing. Okay, this is called individual footing. Okay, the other uh, we have also which is called these are columns. This is called combined footing etc so i am not going uh, further so uh, let's start for mat foundation so guys <clears throat> main first point if you want to construct your house and their bearing capacity of the soil is low if you have low bearing capacity of soil where the soil cannot support the structure load which comes on the ground on the soil and it cannot support so there we should provide mat foundation or raft foundation mat foundation and raft foundation is the same thing right so when bearing capacity of the soil is low okay when bearing capacity of the soil is low okay so this is the first 
reason. Second reason, when made foundation required, okay? Second, when individual and combined footing, individual and combined footing, okay? increase the foundation area so there we provide mat foundation how for example guys this is the area in which you want to construct your building okay so here we require guys uh, one footing for example this is a uh, the second footing this is the third footing this is the fourth footing this is the fifth footing etc same like this and sometimes uh, we require combined footing so you can see guys here this is not economical for every column we will provide individual footing combined footing if the spacing of the column uh, between two columns are between uh, two footing space is less okay so in that case it not become economical so we hit we have to provide mat foundation in that case because this is economical mat foundation is economical uh, compared to combined footing and individual footing so your project will become overcast due to individual and combined footing okay so you cannot support its expenses okay so therefore we should provide mat foundation okay now guys the third point okay that is guys when bearing capacity of the soil is low when individual and combined footing increase the foundation area okay the third point when column footings are close with each other so in that case we also provide mat foundation okay now guys come to construction of mat foundation how we can construct mat foundation as you know guys this is the area in which we want to construct the building for example let me uh, do dimensions for this for example 60 feet this side and 90 feet this side okay so first of all we will excavate this all area this all in which you are making construction okay so we will excavate this after excavation of guys you can see this is cross section okay so after excavation of raft foundation or mat foundation we will do PCC okay so you can use about uh, uh, M10 grade it's okay right so with the thickness of 3 to 4 inches we should provide PCC to make the foundation level equal okay after that guys after the PCC okay we will guys do what rcc so this is pcc to the thickness of r to level the ground level in the foundation okay so after this we will do minimum four inches with thickness of four inches what rcc okay and also we will provide steel steel cage now steel cages also depend on the different structure load if we have heavy structure so there we will provide two mesh two gauge okay so if normal house and we don't have more structure load so one mesh is okay then you can do uh, rcc on that okay you can use here about m20 grade or m15 grade okay so guys this is economical for you and also you can uh, out from here uh, columns so
so this is economical for you and also i have already discussed that med foundation and raft foundation can increase the bearing capacity of the soil if you have low bearing capacity of the soil and structure load cannot be uh, transfer uh, are uh, safely the structure load so uh, for increase the bearing capacity of the soil we should provide raft foundation or mat foundation okay and the thickness of mat foundation or raft foundation should not be less than four inches now let's come to its uh, rc uh, its steel work okay so here we have also guys here same like this main bars and distribution bars so the main bars and distribution bars are same in the same case like slab rcc slab so this is uh, actually rcc slab where we provide main bars and distribution bars and uh, where uh, if we require the columns okay so we can provide the columns also okay where you required so you can uh, also do the column design so here guys we have main bars and also distribution bar so with the spacing of uh, same uh, like uh, six inches or nine inches or seven inches this is also depend on the structure load and it's depend on the structure design okay so specially my mean to tell you where we can provide mat foundation so mat foundation is economical if the bearing capacity of the soil is low and you want to increase the bearing capacity by economical method so raft foundation is best okay and also uh, this is economical which i have already discussed so uh, your foundation will be also safe if the foundation is safe so the structure will be also same so uh, this is the topic which i have discussed the front of you especially for mat foundation so guys if you have any question related with this topic so you can comment i will try to reply your answer if this video is helpful for you so must like this video thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye